Hello there, this is Cookies, and I've got the graphs for Intermediate Dangling Pair, um, LA. And uh, Weeb Sassin was nice enough to post them, so I went ahead and opened them up and wanted to go through them with you. So the first graph, the first graph, goodness, can't talk today, what is provinces. And I guess the, the part that I wanted to point out was Satis had some growth, but the really extraordinary growth kind of came right right around the Man War. So Man was right up there in the top, I think, three players. Got coalitioned by Ulm and Satis. And so that's the first big jump up. You see a similar jump from Ulm. And then... Uh, another big jump from Kalem. Uh, Ulm didn't get very much... I think Ulm was still finishing up Man around then, maybe. Maybe he got a little bit of Kalem. Uh, so that was the next big leap. And at that point, Satis was a very sizable uh, number one. And then we come to the Arco and Aretheia War. And so we can see, as Arco got focused down, and even as I slowly bled out, I was only bleeding out to Satis. And Arco was bleeding out to both Ulm and Satis. So we see some growth from Ulm, but we see that the pace of growth was a lot higher from Satis. So you can kind of kind of see some of that. Um, it, every now and again, I would do some rating pressure, and we'd see a little bit of a drop-off. And I'm sure Arco was doing some too. But yeah, and then as he started focusing me down and Ulm, it looks like it grew even more. So that's the first kind of fun graph. Uh, I think, let's see. But yeah, Satis was always in the running, but just never seemed to get uh, properly coalitioned. So something would always come up. So for the first time Arco wanted me to help coalition Satis, uh, I had just finished a couple of wars. I wanted to get catch up on research. And so I said no. And then the second time I said okay. And then we were about to, to go for it. And then the uh, the Calum thing happened. And this was in response to Man dying. Although Man might have been all the way dead by the time I was about ready to help him, it looks like. So, I don't know. <laughs> Just the... I, I never had great geography for fighting Satis, but... Maybe there could have been a, an earlier coalition to try and contain them. Next up is forts. So you can see Satis was always get very good about getting and holding on to forts. Uh, there was a brief period where your very own Erethea was number one in forts. And that was after the big underwater infrastructure boom that I did. And also getting uh, Flagros for it. So that was pretty cool. Um, pretty happy with the way I managed to hold out in terms of forts. So I really only started really giving up forts as Arco was just about finished off. So I feel like I was doing all right holding on to them. And even for a brief period on my own, I was still losing forts, but I wasn't losing them super rapidly. So pretty happy about that. In terms of income, uh, I guess the, the coolest part about this graph is seeing Ohm's Gift of Nature's Bounty versus Satis's. And I think this was in large part due to the number of forts, so high admin, high population, and then you can see he wasn't blood hunting. And then also having really good Dominion. So maybe I'll pull up Dominion next. So you can see here, uh, Satis did a really great job pushing his Dominion. 
And so when he did put up Gift of Nature's Bounty, he got a lot of benefit from it. Whereas towards the end there, I was starting to worry about getting Dom killed. Uh, the way my Dominion was getting pushed. Especially backed with uh, Dark Skies and all sorts of Wailing Winds traps. Yeah. Let's see, for gem income. Uh, Satis was always doing very well on gem income. And then got a lot of the Kalem lands, and Kalem had done a pretty good job site searching as well. So that propelled him even further. Uh, I did alright site searching. I didn't search super high, but I I think I got really good coverage. I did a lot of manual site searching in this particular game. Not as much remote. Uh, maybe I could have found like a game-changing site or two if I had done some more remote site searching, but I had a lot of things kind of pressing in on my on my gems, and I was busy wasting a lot of gems building a, uh, a Hesperide Wishcaster, so, and alchemizing to try and get our wish farm going with Arco, and just a lot of inefficiencies in how I play the game. I could go over that and maybe a Reflections if I get around to that. On research, uh, one thing I do think I did well on is I think we had three back-to-back -back wars. And then I think I did a pretty good job recovering my research after those wars. I wasn't in the same realm as Arco or Calum, but I was keeping up with Ulm and Citus, so I was pretty happy about that. And I even kind of jumped ahead of them a little bit. And then the, the real fun one is army size. So not quite sure how many of the how much of this was snakes or wolves or thralls for blood hunting and patrolling. Uh, we know Citus had a really big blood economy, but not what percentage of his army was the different things. I do know there were thousands of snakes surrounding my forces, so... And this slight dip, I think, was killing about 500 snakes. So there was a certain amount of production, and losing about 500 of those caused only the slightest dip. And even taking heavy casualties on some other turns, uh, his overall army size kept increasing. And you can see, let's see, so this was me losing about 1,300. So you can see where I was losing chunks of stuff. Oh no, because the graphs came a few turns later. So this is me losing 1,300, which was, I think, well over half of my military. So let's say I had maybe 2,000 to 2,500. That represents a bar and a half. And Sidis had 20 bars. <laughs> yeah, I think you can imagine just how much uh, stuff he had back there. All right. So those are the graphs. Um, really happy they got posted. And I hope you enjoyed the game. I certainly did. It was a Really cool game, got to see a really cool build, and I had a great time playing with uh, everyone in the lobby. So, good luck, and I'll see you in the next game. Have a good one.